More phenomenal. More phenomenal. They said it. <laughs> they didn't stop saying it. They said it twice. <laughs> no, they said it about three times. They said, like, more, more, more finititude or something. something like that. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, oh, am I so glad that that didn't catch on? <laughs> yeah. It's like, every time they're saying, like, <sighs> this is still the experimental place. But anyway, episode two, high five. This episode, they get the communicators, which turn into teleporters, and Trini overcomes her fear of heights. That plot thread that was explored slightly, just a little bit, you know, and, and Bulk and Skull break the, uh, the rope. Yeah. You actually said they work pretty well off each other. Yeah, Bulk and Skull are probably the best part of these episodes. It's always kind of funny to see what these two numb skulls are going to do, because they're really not bullies. You know, a bully is somehow a thread or of some... Hey, uh, they'll get there. Pooh. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. Anyway, it um, starts with rope climbing, where Trini expresses fear of heights, and they fight the skeleton monster. Which actually is a really cool design. I like the design of the skeleton monster. Um, plus, they also have that whole uh, alpha like, home doll. <laughs> no, that was kind of a joke. They said too much TV. Yeah, well, 90s TV. You, you know, I you can tell based upon the uh, based upon the stock footage, and the stock footage is really easy to uh, to see. You can really tell what stock footage and what isn't. Um, you can definitely tell that there was a darker story in the stock footage than what was actually being shown to us. There was the story here was uh, they have a little time device that was in the shape of a mini rocket. But what it actually is, is like a space shuttle with, you know, children trapped on it. Right. In the Sentai, yeah, it was something they shrunk down. They shrunk children down that big and trapped them in there and had a bomb to it. And, uh, oh yeah, the giant. After they destroyed the skeleton, there was a completely different giant. And that, that's, very, that's very odd. Normally, it, that, that's, I was expecting with these Power Ranger episodes, I was expecting it to go through the, you know, the tried and true... Power Rangers formula, but again, you were saying they were experimenting. But you know, the tried and true Power Rangers formula of fight putties, fight bad guy, fight big bad guy with Zord. Well, here's the thing. The, like I said, by showing the Megazord too early in the last episode because they didn't have it in stock footage yet. So as a result, they just, for whatever reason, decided only to use Tyrannosaurus. And um, the thing with the giant, it was kind of the, the giant was actually... And since I used to build up to the Zords, it was introduced, like, from the first episode, and every time it showed up, they pretty much had to run away. They couldn't fight it. And eventually, they could fight back. But, no Sentai. It was just kind of lame. They didn't even say why they were only using Tyrannosaurus. Oh, I'll just say, like, leave this to me, guys. Well, something, anything. <laughs> uh, and this is also before Goldar became, like, the, the main go-to henchman. Like, when they were still experimenting with some of the other guys, you know, Finster, Finster kind of has that... Uh, to me, Finster always looked like uh, the dragon from the never-ending story. Hmm. You know, he always had the kind of that old, furry dragon look to him. So, uh, you know, I, I, like the, I like the monster-making method. This, in uh, Mighty Morphin, the monster-making method is really, really cool. It, I, it kind of reminds me, and this is only because I know Dino Thunder a lot better... It kind of reminds me of me how Mezogog would make different kinds of monsters. Like, he'd have, actually, like, this whole process of making them. Although, this thing, it's like a... That they Greek... mold them out of clay and put them in a machine. Yeah, and it's based off of an old Greek... That Greek mythology, or Greek myth about uh, the guy who made a, a, a woman out of clay. A uh, perfect woman out of clay. Hmm. Well, what'd you think of the episode overall? I thought it was okay, like for a one-off. Like I know later in the seasons, later in the show, they're going to be much better with like long story arcs and whatnot. Uh, longer story arcs, like with the Green Power Ranger arc, and let's not get ahead of ourselves with that yet. Stop, stop. Got like a good that. ten because they got a good fourteen episodes before that. Mm -hmm. But the point I was making is, for a one-off, this was very, very good. You can still tell that they're trying to get the tone. Which is a very common thing for uh, well, for a new show. You know, American, this has been, it's, at this point in Japan, they've been doing this for like 15 years, for 20 years actually, with other ones. But yeah, but this, but in America, it's a new one. Hold it a little higher. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In America, this is the first time, so 
I mean, throw something like that at you, what do you know what to do with it? Yeah, and that's also the thing is that Sentai, you're allowed to get, they were allowed to get away with a little bit more. Here, they had to try to find the tone, and everything is a little bit uh, more also, jokey, a yeah. little campier, because it kind of has to, you know? And also, yes. Oh, oh also, someone looking through a scope, and you see all the putties running away. They, like, sped up the footage to make yeah. it look... And they also um, had thorns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fight, yeah. That's, that's another big thing, is this episode, they learned to fight the putties without morphing. Which is all American footage, yo. <laughs> so, you know, it wasn't too bad. Um, a little, a little goofy, a little campy, but it'll find its groove a little bit more as we watch these episodes. And hopefully no more spin attacks. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is... Those are so weird. Like, it's the... Well... They were fighting the putties, uh, Jason, Zack, and Kimberly... They grabbed onto each other and span around. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, that, that was pretty odd. Uh, uh, put, plus, here's hoping Billy will stop being so useless. Useless. He's the brains of the operation. He built them communicators before cell phones were that common. Or did they even have cell phones in 92, whatever. Yeah, they did. They were about that big. They were not portable. Uh, what year is this again? 94, I think. 93. 93, yeah. Yeah, try to get... So that's like, for 93, you know, talking on your wrist with each other, that's pretty, um, that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Although it makes me wonder why they still need them in the modern ones. Anyway, maybe we'll try to get a few more of these out then just once a week. What do you think? Maybe. Okay, what's the next episode? Maybe uh, we should just keep it open. Teamwork is the next one, episode three. Oh, ow, you almost hit me. You almost hit me. I did not. <laughs> this episode, uh, I guess we can try to give it a score. Mm, three and a half out of five. What do you think? Um, I'll, I'll go with a three out of five. Just a solid three. I don't I don't like going half. I, I normally don't, but uh, it was kind of an iffy situation. Yeah. Well, see you next one. See you guys. Bye.